Many of our students often bring more than one digital device to lectures, and an increasing number of these students leave behind pen and paper for note taking on these devices. So we have students with heads behind a laptop screen or tapping away on a tablet taking notes in Word or Evernote or any number of other apps. Now imagine that on their screen is your lecture presentation and that they are typing their notes on a tool that synchronizes their notes with the context of your lecture. Post class, these notes are available with the video capture lecture too. Everything is in one place. The course video, the students notes and the instructors materials. This is what Echo 360 lecture capture and the note taking feature can do. Your student now has their notes alongside their course content in a 24 seven accessible format. No more lost or illegible handwritten notes. Studies show the positive difference digital note taking makes for engaging students with the content while boosting their learning outcomes. Let's have a look at how this feature works. As a student, once I've logged into my learning at Griffith and I've opened up my Echo 360 area, I'm presented with the presentation slides for the lecture for today. When I want to go and take notes, this is a feature here that is available only to students, not to instructors. So as a lecturer, you won't actually see this option up on your screen. Students can click on here and work through the slides as you're presenting it. So once they come to a particular slide that they want to add some notes in, they click over on the side and they start typing whatever notes they wish to put in here. They then go through and keep on following your presentation, answer the responses that are here, keep on listening away, and then you might say something pertinent that this will be on the exam, um, ask questions later, and they can go through and they can keep on taking notes against each of the slides. The really good thing about this is say I don't understand what this is, I can then, when I'm revising, go back and say, okay, I don't understand what this is. Each of the slides that I've taken notes against is noted on the side here. So if I want to go back and have a look at slide four, it will automatically flip me back to that, which is really very cool. Now, for revision purposes, the lecture is finished and the lecture capture has been uploaded to the system. The student can now go in here and play the video of the lecture. And once again, also, they can take notes against that. So rather than having to flick through the slides with the person on the screen, I'm at home now as a student and I'm revising the video of the lecture that I've seen earlier today. I can take anything, I can take any notes I like against it. Then I can make some more changes. And you'll notice now that it has the time stamping available, which actually correlates to the one just down the bottom. So if they look at the notes afterwards while they're revising and they think, oh my gosh, I don't understand what that means, I can flick back here and it will flick back directly into the video of where that note was taken, which they can then flag as confused or they can follow up with further clarification down the track. 